Here at the Abandoned Atlas Foundation, we work hard to spread awareness and connect developers to places that are historic and at risk of the wrecking ball. In Topeka, Kansas, the now-closed Minikers Clock Tower is in danger of demolition. Not because there is a lack of interest, but because the right person hasn't been found. To the person with the right plans and intentions, along with certain terms and conditions, this building will actually be donated, along with some additional acreage. This building dates back to 1925 and was placed on the National Register of Historic Places in 2005. We are hoping to showcase why this massive building has an entire community of support with people rallying to save it, and why it is ready to be invested in. The building itself, just by looking at it, commands respect. And it's hard to believe that a building like that was built in the, the 1920s. The tower is a symbol for everything that happened out here. A symbol of treatment, the kind of treatment that really is not available anywhere else at all anymore. It's been a landmark in Topeka from every direction you come. What started as Martin's Hill became the focal point for the Knights and Ladies of Security. They had provided insurance and social security for women, the poor, children, and the elderly. By 1895, they had memberships in the thousands, which only continued to grow. The first premium, that they weren't called premiums then, that it was a nickel a month, the nickel a month got you all of the services you needed from a healthcare standpoint. It was cradle to grave. Because of their success, in 1925, they needed a bigger facility. Constructed of limestone and brick, four stories high with a 140-foot clock tower, it was deemed a replica of Independence Hall in Philadelphia. And in 1954, they fell under hard times. Security Benefit was no longer able to meet the needs of their clientele, so they just shut everything down and walked away from it. In 1959, it was purchased by the fast-growing Minikers Foundation, which had become nationally known for their advancements in research and care of mental health. They had also become the leading educational facility for training psychiatrists in the country, helping Topeka earn the title of Psychiatric Capital of the World. This was the jewel of this place, that everybody was considered part of the treatment team, regardless of whether you were the psychiatrist, the social worker, the housekeeper. Everybody saw the patient, and everybody had a piece that helped understand it, to see the patient as a whole. And we were known as the place that people came to when everything else failed. Um, so we had people from New York, California, the movie stars. Uh, we had a contract with the NFL. Dr. Will we had meetings with President Kennedy. President Kennedy was very supportive of mental health funding. By the 1990s, insurance companies began to change their definition of essential care and wanted to save money on treatments. Facilities and programs all over the country began to close as a result. In 2002, Minikers also fell victim. In order to stay afloat, they consolidated with Baylor College of Medicine and Methodist Healthcare System in Texas, leaving the $35 million campus behind. Even though the building has been sitting empty for 20 years, it hasn't been on the market that entire time, and it was only recently put up for donation. It was purchased by the current owners, SCL Health, in 2007 when they had plans to build their new campus on the property and restore the clock tower for their uses. However, in 2008, those plans were put to a halt because SCO Health transferred ownership of its Topeka Hospital, St. Francis, to the University of Kansas Health System, and SCO Health no longer had a need for the property. Several developers since then have looked into restoring this property. However, until now, the clock tower building had never been for sale with the rest of the property. Now, the current owners are holding out on demolition plans in hopes that someone will breathe new life onto the top of this prominent hill. They are so enthusiastic about this that recently they decided to donate the entire building along with some additional acreage to someone with the right intentions and plans. Now, how often does that happen? To me, that's a strong selling point. You can have this building for nothing. In an effort to prevent break-ins and vandalism, right now the boarded up building is and has been under tight security by SCL Health. They have boarded up all the first and second floor windows, lined the property with a fence, set up alarms, and have kept it under a close eye by hiring security personnel. In 2017, a building assessment was done and repair recommendations were made. 
In an effort to help protect against further damage, SCL Health spent $147,000 to stabilize the building and make repairs. Moving to the inside, this building offers ample space for a wide range of possibilities for adaptive reuse. And yes, there are some things happening that over the long haul are not going to be beneficial, but nothing that can't be fixed. You know, it's not falling down, it's not beyond repair. The blueprints and layout of the building shows over 500 rooms, as well as tall and wide ceilings, giving ample room for an apartment complex, a hotel, office spaces, and other similar ideas. Additionally, the interior has tremendous space for restructuring and opening up floors for conference rooms, ballrooms, and other open spaces. The Clock Tower building has a huge advantage of being located on the second highest point of Topeka in a very visible and strategic area of town. Right across the street, new neighborhoods are being developed and are seeing new homeowners and residency. It has new nearby construction of two banks, a medical clinic, restaurants, a movie theater, two TV stations, and a pharmacy. In 2008, SCL Health demolished a majority of the campus to make way for their new facilities, leaving just a few buildings behind. Just down the hill, two of them are in the middle of a renovation project by the Sunflower Foundation. We saw something and we've been at it for a couple years. These two buildings really look like they should have been demolished. <laughs> the tower building looks better. They plan to utilize the buildings as a nonprofit center for their new home office and an educational building with conference rooms for other nonprofits. As told by the Historic Landmarks Commission of Topeka, it is eligible for historic tax credits and has the possibility of funding support from the city, state, and community. The only risk that I see is lack of imagination. It's going to cost money. You know, to build a, a new structure would cost lots of money. Why not take what we already have and repurpose it and, and make new use of it? Petitions, social media posts, and even a website have been outlets for citizens showing their support and advocating for someone to come in and save the clock tower. I would do anything I could to support to bring that about. It's right next to Interstate 70. It's not that far that people could easily drive up here. And there will be support if something can be put together that, that's a feasible project that can bring about the preservation of the tower building. It would be a, such a feather in the cap. It would be a, something that you would be very proud of. The Sunflower Foundation is confident that this hill will soon be full of people, business, and a big part of the growing community. If you're looking for a chance to build or restore a building into a new model of business, you can't beat the idea of having some land and being on top of a hill. But you've got to think about campus, not just the building. You can develop a campus, and the campus adds to, I think, the quality of whatever services the investor might be doing. What we found here was the outdoors is as important as the indoors. There's a state park directly behind the tower building with trails and the river is back there too. You're kind of in a pastoral environment. This is the time to be in Topeka. We're, we're, we're redeveloping ourselves. This is still the gem of the city. Whoever gets that will have their building and their business on the most historic hill in West Topeka, overlooking Topeka on incredible rich legacy history. And it's right for someone to take it on and make it the next chapter.